Hi. Nay here, Narai. Hi, water signs. I am doing a general reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. I always have a problem remembering the elements. You gotta excuse me. Yes, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. What messages do we have? If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe if you find the information helpful. And we are going to go ahead and get started. And I realized I forgot to put on Florida water. Because I just did my, my air signs. So now water signs. All right. One final. And we will get this ball rolling. All right, spirit. What messages do you have for my water signs, please? Messages for my water signs? Messages? Mm -mm -mm. Some of you guys are natural born leaders. You guys are bold. You guys are taking control of things. King of Wands. This could be a person in your life, too. We're, we're going to see what comes next. Messages for my water signs, please. Messages from a water science. Please and thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh! My favorite. Ace of Cups. Whew. This is the Love New Relationship card. This has to do with um, new emotions, some sort of emotional awakening. Um, also compassion, deep feeling, some sort of proposal, but this is also my self-love card where you're responsible for filling your own cup. You're not depending on a person outside of yourself to fulfill your happiness because they can add to your happiness, but another person cannot make you happy. That is an inside job. I'm not sure where this is going. Because that could also be a, like a friendship. Oh, gosh. So three cards came out. Oh, I, I turned them over. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be fast. So I have the Hierophant. I feel like for some people, the Hierophant is the, mad, the marriage card. But this has to do with beliefs, religious beliefs. Um, a belief system. It has to do with spirituality. It could have to do with church. Um, but then I pull some sort of fast communication coming out, some sort of rapid movement forward, some sort of immediate action, some sort of change with the Eight of Wands. And then I pull the Ten of Cups, which is happiness, divine love, family, love and support. And so what this makes me think, this is like the ultimate emotional fulfillment is that there's going to be an opportunity that comes that can make you feel this way, but you're going to have to move fast with this Eight of Wands energy. It makes me feel like this could possibly lead to marriage, but you're going to have to know also that you're, finan you're financially, you're responsible for your own emotional happiness. This person is not. So when you go into this relationship, you guys are going to have to know, and this person's going to need to know also, ooh, that you can be, fine, uh, fine, I keep saying financial, sorry, that you can be emotionally responsible for yourself. You're not going to be emotionally dependent on them. Um, Oh, wow. It's funny I said financial. Because this talks about a f financial loss, um, a lack mindset, um, shut out in the cold. This is the Five of Pentacles. With the Five of Pentacles, if you know the rider weight, it's like two people, one's walking behind the other, and they're 
in front of like a church window, a stained glass window. This is some sort of hardship. I have a feeling that this might have to do with some of your mindsets. And I know this is having to do with money or financial loss, but some of you may feel like you're not deserving um, when it comes to love also, but that's not the case. That is not the case. Some of you are worried. Some of you may actually be worried about money and have financial um, situations or hardships going on right now, especially with the holidays. This does sometimes happen to people. Oh. The magician. Why? Because spirit wants you to know that you have the ability to manifest whatever you want. If you are having financial hardship, you have the ability to come out of that situa uh, situation. You may just have to change your thinking, that lack mentality, and you may have to be creative, but you have the tools. You have all the tools to make what is necessary happen in order to be happy and in order to meet that person that is going to add to your happiness and contribute to your emotional fulfillment. Okay. This is just about done. We're only six minutes in. Messages from my water signs. My beautiful water signs. Pisces. Mm, 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 mm. Cancer and Scorpio. So the judgment card, it's a wake up call. This is a wake up call for you. For some of you, you might discover your life's purpose by getting out of this lack mindset that you have. Um, this is an opportunity for you to look at yourself, um, evaluate yourself and see the areas of your life where you might have that lack mindset. And work on changing it. Messages for my water signs, please. Water signs. Queen of Swords. Yeah. Some of you are in this energy where you're feeling really independent. Um, you guys are Pisces, Scorpio, I'm not 100% sure about Cancer, but I know Pisces and Scorpio, you guys can speak very direct, and you guys can speak so direct that people think you're rude, but you're not being rude, they just want people to sugarcoat things, don't change who you are, um, continue that direct communication that you have and um, be logical why does my fountain keep stopping I just realized it stopped again I'm so sorry messages from a water signs oh yep two of cups I'm done Unified love partnership, close bonds, joining forces, some sort of connection, romantic love. The direct communication, do that. And if you want somebody to be direct with you, let them know. Nobody's a mind reader. But I feel uh, water signs that if you are forthcoming and you say what you mean and mean what you say and you're direct with this person, of course have some tact when you first meet somebody because everyone can't handle that up front. They're, they don't know what to expect. I feel like if you continue to just be straightforward, um, oops, sorry, you continue to be straightforward, that person is gonna admire you and there's gonna be something that starts. I feel like there's gonna be sparks that start because they're gonna like the fact that you're still so straightforward and they're not going to have to wonder with you because you're honest. Why am I still shuffling? 
Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. King of Swords. This is a couple. King of Swords and Queen of Swords. Be direct, be straightforward. I'm done. All right, water signs. Thank you for visiting my channel. Like, share, subscribe. Bye.